Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and tonight we are finally finishing our ventures in Silent Hill 1. Let me just check the brightness level, because Elgato tends to, like, randomly just make it darker, and I don't see it in time. And since uh, the TV is hooked on component, I can't even notice it on the TV. Alrighty, nowhere here we come. We've gotten as far as nowhere. Now this will be just a lot of weirdness and puzzles. And it's probably my favorite part of the first game. No, but yeah, we don't have a map. And only one door is open. Like, that's the one on my left. Yep. But no supplies either. I think I went through this last time when I was here. So, it's going to be quite a few nurses and doctors. Maybe even with guns. Where the hell am I now? Oh my god, it's so, that's wonderful. Camera tilt and everything. Here we go, the elevator. It's one of the scenes. What happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down... Find it. Me and my trusty hammer. Cheryl. It's one of the things that was uh, adapted into the movie. A lot of things from the, a lot of scenes from the first game, and a couple from second and third were adapted into the first movie, the good one. We don't talk about the second movie. Okay, here we are. Welcome to nowhere. Okay, there's a key in the faucet. So that part is gonna need the pliers. That's the cage I was talking about in the beginning. That's the room. Yeah, and you couldn't hear anything in when we were here for the first time. You're not gonna mention on the flutter. Uh, the fluttering sounds, no, Harry? You're a weird fellow. A very weird customer. <laughs> Balek, okay. Balek. Oh, we're back in the antique store. So it's all the... Okay. Every room is a puzzle and it's all the memories like different places of uh Alessa's history. Sure. No hole in the wall this time. Oh, he was going to say something. Just a wall. Can't go anywhere. Oh, I think I see a sh pack of shotgun shells. Nice. Yeah. That god is as good as dead. Three, <laughs> 42 rifle shells plus all this shotgun. I think I don't even need the hammer anymore. I can just start shooting things. Fair and square. That's it, I think, yeah. A save point. Did, did I equip the shotgun? Yeah, okay, this is gonna be a lot easier. If I remember the control. One down. Okay. Uh, what was the reload? Just aim, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did I equip the rifle? Oh right, I equipped the rifle. Okay, that's a little, that's that's overkill for them. I see like the aim was weird because he should aim like that, yeah, with the shotgun. Alright. Consider yourselves like special nurses. I used rifle shells on you. Ophiel, Baleg, and what was the other one? Just locked. Okay. 
This is not going to make much sense in terms of the map. Before I do that. Can you even open this? Yeah, it's locked. Okay. Hag it. Down we go. Oh, there we go. Classroom. That's what I wanted to see from the start. And there it is. So you don't see it until nowhere, yeah. Go home. Thief. Drop that. That was more than that, I'm sure. Or not. Huh. There's a some there's something else, but I can't really make it up. The uh, make it out all the way at the top. Kinda upwards. I mean upside down. Just a flower. Lockers. As far as I remember, there is no map. Oh, there we go. Tools. A screwdriver and pliers. So we're gonna use both for puzzles. I don't think there's a map in nowhere, as far as I remember. So it's just memorizing the route. It's not as complicated as it seems. The most confusing thing is changing the scenery like different locations mashed together that's what i kept uh referring to in the resident evil outbreak file 2 when we do elimination it's like this just i don't know where i am and i don't have a map okay so now let's use the pliers to pull out the key from the faucet right there Don't show us what you're doing. It's it's cheaper that way. Okay, Ophiel. Wait, where did we see Ophiel? So the rune might tell me has a square down right and a triangle up left. That's good enough for me. This one is Lem, <laughs> Lemmy, where's Ophiel? This is Haggit, so this must be Ophiel. Yep. More hospital, yay! Oh yeah, this is where the puzzle is. So, I mentioned this again, we were in a hospital uh, in the other world, and yeah, it's also, so you see a lot of these things, but use them a lot later. Now I think I need to... I think there you should go in order of, like, from youngest to all... Uh, yeah, from youngest to eldest, we get A-L... Alert? Alert. Okay. So let's not forget where we came in from. There should be more stuff here. There we go. Then the pathway opens, awaiting them, the frenzied uproar, the feast of death. Jammed. Jammed. Wait, one of those should be the screwdriver door. They're all locked. This one isn't. Oh, holy shit. What the... Oh, it's the... It's the Zodiac puzzle. Okay. I remember this one. I think it's the number of their legs. Or like, not legs. Appendages? Limbs? Ten? Because he's got eight to ten. Yeah, it's the number of their limbs. zero that gave it away right like what does what do all these things have that fish doesn't i mean scales have two appendages limbs apparently but yeah and we check check any of these 
Okay, so he's got two, four, six. Can I choose? Yeah, there we go. The other one, they got eight. I'm the expert in limology. All right, and four, or maybe five because of the tail. Maybe that's the trick. No. Is it, though? No. There's no trick here. See, that would have been nice if you had to type in five. No, get away. Stone of time. I don't remember what this does, but we'll need it very soon. Clock face design on pillar with astrology chart hanging from it. That makes sense, actually. So, okay, one more room done. Yeah. Why are you still moving? Not anymore? Okay. Jam. So every time you solve something, something comes and takes it from you. It's gonna be very locked. So what was it? Alert. That was one thing I never got. Why? Why alert? Although, of all, is that supposed to be something for me? Uh, where am I? Storage room. I'm gonna say storage. Room. Okay, yeah, this is where the thing's gonna happen. Talked about this the previous two episodes. I wasn't sure when it's gonna happen. I mean, I know it's nowhere, but I wasn't sure how soon I'll reach nowhere. Here we are, nothing helpful. But what he's about to see is and do is horrible. Oh, wait, not yet? Then it's another room. My bad. So we got a amulet of Solomon. So this is obviously the hospital's morgue. And remember the what happened before we got to nowhere. Uh, he actually confronted Alyssa. Alessa, fuck damn it, and uh, used the flores on her, which weakens her powers, and that's important. So she's angry right about now. Rightly so. He was just shaking off a crazy parent and then this random guy comes in. I mean, he's not a random, he was kind of father to the to one half of her. So that guy, that's gotta count for something. Still though. And this one Six Corners named after the ancient magician. Was he a magician or a philosopher? Yep, okay. That this is that room. Lisa, what's the matter with you? I get it now. Why I'm still alive, even though everyone else is dead. This is not gonna work. I'm not the only one who's still walking around. I'm the same as them. Just hadn't noticed it before. Lisa. Stay by me, Harry. Please. I'm so scared. Help me. Save me from them. Please. Harry. <laughs> Looks much better in the FMV. Ugh. Or Lisa. Sounds like the basis for what will become Pino Flora. Lisa. Horrible. So, it's implied that 
Alessa's power, her nightmare, has, uh, you can't go back, right? Diary on the floor, there we go. Ask doctor to let me be, to let me quit being in charge of that patient. It's too weird. Still alive, but with wounds that won't heal. Told the doctor I quit. Won't work at, in, at that hospital anymore. The room is filled with insects. Even with doors and windows shut, they get in to spite me. To the hospital. Feeling bad, need to throw up. But nothing comes out. Vomiting only bile. Blood and pus flow from the bathroom faucet. I try to stop it, but it won't turn off. Need drug. Help me. Oi. Right door or the wrong door? Yeah, there's that. She's gone. So it's implied that uh, all of the hospital staff became what they are, like all the puppet nurses. They were all infected by the same parasite that infected Sybil. And, you know, the lumps that they have on their back, their, like, hunchback. And it's implied that because it's weak to Agalophotis, one of the, one of the components we used. I didn't get another key, though. Oh, yeah, there's another book. Um... And Lisa was doing drugs, the PVT, uh, we found the, about in the police station and then in that motorcycle gas tank with Kaufman. It's implied that because she used it and uh, White Claudia, which is uh, where the Agalophotis is extracted from, is one of the Greek key ingredients for the drug. So that's what, that's what kind of slowed it down for her, but ultimately without the drug she would succumb to it. Now there are different theories, but this one, that's about how I got it too, when I got the whole, uh, you know, the whole story together, doing all the endings, aside from the UFO one, and makes sense. Still, this music and all that, <laughs> we just go back, I guess. Oh. They need two shots. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm better off using the... Wait, why did I get... I got the screwdriver and what else did I get? Oh, a square. Yeah, stone of time, the clock. Okay. Now, as horrible as that was, I feel even more sorry for Lisa and Shattered Memories, the reimagining of Silent Hill 1, because... I don't know, it. Oh, wrong room. I don't know what it is, just... They gave her a character with a... Striking speech. Just like, just like this one. And... I don't know, she just ends sadly. Another key, okay. Let's hope she didn't die in vain. <laughs> yeah, first Silent Hill. Haggett, okay. What about this one? Forgot what's the deal with these words. Hello? Oh, just the elevator. Wait, just the elevator? In Silent Hill, it's never just the elevator. Except this one. Oh, look, it's an actual elevator. Let's start with one. No, let's start with two. I think I was at two, but okay. Was I? I think I was at two. Too bad there's no map. Oh, wait, I wasn't. And then quickly the pistol. Let's see how that works. Ooh. 
Oh, that is not gonna work well for me. Okay, yeah, two shotguns, two shotguns. We don't. I'm better with shotgun shells anyway. At least, like, kick both with one kick. Okay. Now, oh, there's yeah. It's... Yeah, that's another thing with nowhere. A lot of hallways look the same. I mean, the hospital itself already, a lot of things look the same. Then you add this, ending up in different areas. So first time you play it, it tends to be a little convoluted. But it's not. It's really just check every door. Watch out for puzzles. What was here? Up. Rest of mercury. More rifle sh shells. Somehow shells still. I don't know. It's like shells for a rifle. There's a door. There's more items. Yeah, I'm gonna need all of those. Let's check it a little more. While looking around. But remember, we still have that big hallway. Oh, wait. Okay, we're not going anywhere from here. Where was this? This is a jewelry store. Is that... That's not the green lion, is it? No? Something else. Let's see what we got here now. All of these items. I still have that? That was for the safe, wasn't it? That's why I kept it. Or was that to enter the store? Now I'm not sure. Oh man, could we have missed something because I didn't check the safe? That makes me nervous. It would be such a shame. I know there there was supposed to be a scene with what is this? Drugs? Oh, that one died quickly. Jam. Another jam. Another doctor or a nurse? Oh wow, we made a shortcut to the first room, right? Yep, okay. Okay, this is the hallway I wanted actually. More ammo. Obviously not gonna use the pistol anymore, but good to have it. Camera. Nothing else? Nothing here behind? No? Oh, it's two of them. The shotgun will come in handy here. Move so I can kick her. Oh. So where was I? Third door, right? Yeah. That's, we should be able to see the tape again with more details, though. That's, we also seen that before. Oh my god, I forgot. We didn't do that. That's for later. I mean, for now, right? But Okay, I remember. So now, I need to go turn off the power and run through the dark, right? Or was it use a tool? Wait, let's see. Okay, yeah, it's 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 the power. It's the power. But where to now? 
All right, we're back at the start. There's one more door door to unlock, and that's this one. Feel it. What do we have from key items again? Not helpful. No. Hmm. What am I missing? Let's let's check that elevator again. What happens if I go to the third floor? Okay, so this was the first floor. Okay. That's it. So this is the second church. The secret altar behind the green lion. Uh, Dahlia's store. So we gotta solve this. Puzzle here. The light to the future. Oh, was it a camera here? Yes. There we go. So, up, up. Let's set those. What was the third one again? Oh god damn it. The third one is just the triangle. Pointing up left. Let's do it again. I think I did it wrongly the first time, right? There we go. And the other one. Is that a hanging? That's a hanging. Or some kind of execution. So we gotta... Cross. Okay. That's a Cyrillic P. Where's the last one? Hello, zombie. Nice to see you. Uh, what was the last one? Triangle down, I think. Or maybe triangle down like this. Yep. Okay, zombie. I think I figured out why I didn't get... Uh, what is this? Drugs? Seen last time? Because... <clears throat> There's a general store receipt. If I look at it, there's a number, which could have been the safe number. Now, I don't remember if I used this to actually enter the general store. Might have. Or maybe that's going to happen here. Because a few things I thought would happen before actually happened here. So I found Alessa's desk as soon as I started the stream. I don't know if you were there. Stuff like that. And uh, I'm still hoping I might find it. There should be the... Ooh, there we go. Birdcage key. For the invisible bird. That's also symbolism, I think, for Alessa being trapped by her mother, literally and figuratively. It's because she wanted her to give birth to their god. She didn't put her child's needs first, of course, as you can see. So, I think that's what the cage is for. No look command here. Back at the admin office. Okay, that's where we found the Agalophotis. Which tells me that the hospital, like all, a lot of hospital staff is on drugs. Is that what you're telling me? Yep, you're not going to read that bloody newspaper? Oh, you are. Okay, thank you. Same thing. Investigation stalled. PTV dealer still at large. Suspicious deaths continue. First, the anti-drug mayor, now an narcotics officer, dies of a sudden heart failure of unknown cause. 
Are there others? It's pretty old. Fire broke out in town. Six homes destroyed. Charred body of Alessa Gillespie. Found in aftermath. Oh, that was, sounded really bad the way I said it. Cause of fire are currently under investigation. Investigation shows source as basement of Gillespie house. Hold. Blaze now believed caused by malfunction of antiquated, antiquated boiler. The date of the blaze is the same day we found Cheryl. Da -da -da. So we got a huge plot, sh plot bomb there, bombshell, plot shell, whatever. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where I found the, or not. This maybe isn't the admin office, but it looks like it. I don't know, man. Whoa, there's a place in place mark in the book, or just there's a bookmark. Oh, but okay. White Claudia, perennial per perennial herb found near water, reaches height of 10 to 15 inches. Why? Everything was in color. Never mind. Oblong leaves, white blo blossoms, seeds contains hallucinogen. Ancient records show it was used for religious ceremonies. The hallucinogenic effect was the key. Yeah, these files are almost invisible. I might have missed some already. Gee. Okay, next. Wait, was I in boat? Yep, I was in boat. Let's go see that bird. So that's the first floor now, right? Oh, nowhere. I'll, I love you. But even more than this, I think... More fucked up nowhere is in shattered memories. Just because it's so... You have to work on... So the whole... The... The map itself is a puzzle. You just gotta escape. You gotta pay attention to the clues. Where the... Oh! Ah! Oh. Leave me alone! I could die here. Didn't react to time. Okay, that was good. Like a gangster. Come on, step on her boil. Parasite thing. Some of them are added in the European version. I remember reading. I'm not sure if that's uh, these two or if there are others. I think there's one in Alessa's house later. Oh, wait. Wrong room anyway. What, what was I doing here? Why did they spawn here when I already took the key? That was weird. But okay, more kills. More score. So that's here, actually. Yeah. I don't know why. So it's like you made a mistake. You're gonna pay. That invisible bird? Okay, before we do that, this is gonna not gonna last forever. It's tripping me out. It always has. There's a cage, there's nothing in there, just fluttering wings. I know it's like a 240 pixel tall 25-year-old video game, but that's amazing. That's that's I'm just like there's nothing there. <laughs> and still it's so creepy. Gone bird? So the key was the bird, maybe. Still got the camera for some reason? Okay, Falig or Falig or Flem, whatever your name is. Off we go. Those nurses didn't put much of a dent in old Harry, did they? Oh, wait, it's th this way. New area. Loading time. Okay, let's look ahead. Wait, they can attack now? What the hell was that? That looked like a... Wow, it really hurt me. That looked like a, what they're called. Night Stalkers, Dark Shadow Stalkers, something. Oh, it's too... It's so bad to clip this 20, but okay. Look at that kid. It's gone. So they couldn't attack you up until this point. Yeah, remember? I knew there was going to be a... Not yet, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, I'm going to need something else. Locked. This is bad door. So this is the second portion of nowhere. I think this, it, it, this is what you're talking about, zombie. Yeah. Wait, don't use the ring? I thought when you... Uh, I'm supposed to use it. You know what? I'm not even gonna touch that. 
until I check around some more. Because I know if you fuck up here, don't forget to... Okay, yeah, you're right. So is it here? Can I check it before dying? Let's try. No. Don't take it. <laughs> you already took it out, but okay. Holy shit, I got sweats right there, zombie. I thought I was going to fuck it up. So we're going to need this for the end, but this is the ring, yeah. Yeah, we all died here the first time. Okay. Contract or contract? I'm not gonna stick around here. I wanna poke my head in, but I, I remember this being a gruesome move. There. Okay, yeah, that. That's supposed to happen. Without the ring, that would have been just like game over screen, right? <laughs> It's one of the... It's great, and it's great that it's so uh, late uh, at the, you know, at the... near the end of the game when you're already seen a lot of shit, so this surprises you. That's like... I've talked about this when we play Resident Evil Outbreak, how I like that the very first cheap death zombie is right there um, at the start of the game. Melchior it will always for me it'll always be something that I that makes me think of Chrono Trigger. Uh-huh. They tried. There she is. Memory of Alessa. Well not really, that's yeah, it is a memory. There's a boss named Memory of Alessa later. In the series, in Silent Hill 3. You're not gonna read them? Because the resolution is not really telling me much. Kill? I think it says kill on that one. Come on. Flip the cam. Yep, it says kill right there. With the eye. Z creepy stuff. That was her. I guess that was her timeout room, or I mean, you can say because that's Dahlia Gillespie was her mother. You can say full, full on punish room. Oh, this is the storeroom. Okay. Well, that we won't see Lisa again, so it doesn't matter. Hmm. Hmm. Drugs. Drugs everywhere. Beef jerky? No, wait, this is something else. Oh, yeah, I'll need this as well. That's right. this scene okay Bathor I'm coming for you sounds like all the keys are named after metal bands I know there aren't that metal bands are named after but still there we go that's what I was looking for in the in the other part of the hospital so let's look at the tape again it should change now Ooh, and right after that I'm going to talk about something I missed talking about the last few times. What is it? Now we can see the picture, right? Eyes. Was it that? Eyes don't open. And you can hear her. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. Yeah. Her skin is all charred. Even when I change the bandages, the blood and pus just start oozing through. Why? What is keeping that child alive? It's magic. Not the good kind, though. I can't stand it any longer. I won't tell a soul. Promise. No, oh, please. I think she was talking to Kaufman. So, yeah, yeah, I lied. We see Elisa one more time after her nursination. So, I wonder if she's one of the. If you. You know, she becomes one of the nurses that you kill later. 
And I also wonder, zombie, by not opening the safe, did I fuck up the ending? Or I'm so obsessed with that safe. Really hoping it's gonna be... What is this one? Eratron? Or Atatron? Aratron. Eratron. Aratron. I don't know. It's one of those. Oh! That's what I want to see. Nothing unusual, just look around. Now, a lot of expl explanations for a lot of stuff that we encountered is going to come from this room. Because this is... This is Alessa's room. Can you read the diaries? I kind of... Or was that in Sun Hill 3? This is one of the locations where... I remember being able to check them. One of the locations that also appears in Silent Hill 3. And yeah, there's more stuff to do there, actually. Fairy tales, animals, like all the stuff that's been attacking us. And this is where the big puzzle goes. Not before I get all five, buddy. So he's not gonna comment. Was that? That was her commenting on her own stuff, wasn't it? Like being dark and yeah, that's Heather. Because like... Silent Hill 3. Heather is very vocal about everything and... Even though I think Silent Hill 3 is the weakest game in terms of just like... The story was so good and then it just stopped. It always bothered me. Um, also, the, num the there's only basically two endings. If you don't count the UFO. Or the other one is also so not... I don't know. It's all weird. But that thing, being able to uh, check everything... And she would comment and give her own, like, her own opinion on it. Very teenage-like. Oh, there we go. That's the final key. We need to turn off the power and then run through the dark. And we can use the elevator. That's the thing, actually. We can use the elevator. Is it down? Why would I work so hard to turn it off? And now back. And I gotta do it on a foot. Well, actually, shouldn't be too hard. So it's supposed to be right this door. Lisa, is that you? Oh, it's the little kids. No, fuck, fuck. They can take a lot of health. Yeah, I keep forgetting about those little bastards. And then they'll disappear. Whoa. I'm okay. Just... I don't like enemies I can't see. <laughs> is it here? I doubt it, but yeah, that's where the... Oh, it is. Final key, okay. Well, the final key key. We're going to have a final key item in a few moments, but yeah. Fuck him. Let's check this key before we go. I didn't check the other one, but... Another cutscene? Yeah. Everything is going according to plan. Sheltered in the womb. But it's not done yet. Cancer cell is large. That is why the seed lies dormant. And what soul remains captured in that husk is buried deep down in the subconscious. Are you trying to say it won't work? 
That wasn't our agreement. No, no, these are just stalling tactics. If we lend a hand, we will be able to get power. Such a motherly figure. The promise shall not be broken. So Kaufman was in on it. He was one of the big people in the town. Almost nothing. Unless we get the other half of the soul. We'll use a magical spell. Feeling this child's pain, it's sure to come. But that will take time. Seven years, to be exact. Uh, so the other half of Soul that they're talking about, that's Cheryl Mason. That's my kid. The other half of Alessa's Soul. So right here, Alessa. Disc of Ouroboros, okay. Not the uh, Resident Evil kind. Nothing else to comment on? No, he doesn't want to comment on her bed anymore. Or anything. He's seen, he's seen enough. I mean, anyone would at this point. So we have the amulets, uh, Amulet of Solomon, the Crest of Mercury, an Ankh, a Dagger of Melchior, and a Disc of Ouroboros. Quite a... I just throw those things at her and she's done, for fuck's sake. <laughs> if nothing else, it's like very heavy, heavy metallurgy there. Okay, and her room was here? Or was it actually here? Nope, that was the other one. Nope. Wait. Maybe here? Well, now I'm lost. It's one of those doors. It's it's a direct route, yeah. It's a direct route. It should be one of those doors. And there's the final save and... Well... We'll be done with the game. Kind of makes me sad. But what makes me very happy is to start Silent Hill 2. Which, along with Shattered Memories, is my favorite in the series. And one of the favorite games of all time. Now I'm hoping he's not going to go before. Yeah, I don't think. I'm just going to put all this in and then save. Mm. Just use them in order. I'm just hoping he won't open the door as soon as I put the last one. Be like, yeah, I'm going now. And finally, sword and chest. Okay. We just need one thing right now. And I'm so glad I saved up those shells because this last part was okay. Still got 22 shells left. But we got 46 rifle shots. And we should be able to finish off Incubus, was it? Incubator is if you're fighting Alessa herself. Incubus is what's going to come out of her, their god. And once we kill that, hopefully we've done everything for the good ending. Because it was really sad if it just didn't unlock that and didn't get it. So let's go to the save screen. Nowhere. Yes. And I didn't back up anything on the PS2 card or the hard drive. So, so I can't go back to that point. That's it. Here we go. No. No. I don't want to. Do what mommy tells you now. Mommy's kind of weak. <laughs> I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. I mean, give her some power. Look, she can't even lift her child. What the fuck? I don't want to do it. You shouldn't. It will make everyone happy. And everyone. Own good too. You can see how happy people are right now. Oh, <laughs> Mommy, with your power. I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. 
understand? Oh, yes, I see. What a horrible woman. It hurts me every time. He has been wrong. Ugh. Mommy. Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. So let's just... I could have oh. done it all myself. Mommy? Yeah, there's just one place left to go. Okay, this is it. The big finale. Slowly I walk down there, confident in my rifle and my flashlight. I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metrotron was being used. It's part of the lost soul returning back. So quiet. Don't shoot do anything, Sybil. Just look at them. Even though the rest of us feel stuck, this little girl has to go. Aww. What a pity. <laughs> you wish you were like her. Like, with 50 Free. fucking lives. Yeah, finally! You could have tried it in, to start with. Oh. Devil is right. No book. Don't you see? She's right there. Harry's slow. That's absurd. You are the only one who thinks so. Why? Because you're wrong. Why are you doing this? Oh, okay. It's been a long seven years. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive. I love the loading pause. Suffering a fate worse than death. So excited about it, are you? Alessa has been trapped in an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured by that nightmare. Waiting for the day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is now. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Oh. Our salvation is at hand. By leveling everything? Would, did you go to Final Fantasy School of Villains? When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise. Where we don't have to wait for loading times to finish a sentence. Whoosh. Okay, God, it's you and me, boy. He just got, just came to this world, world, that world. He, he's a boy. Hell yeah! Okay, we got the good ending, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. We didn't open the safe. He had a change of heart. Did I ask for this? <laughs> you won't get away with this. I mean, you already You're saw to that. We don't need you Who is we? What do you think you can accomplish by coming here? I want to sell more drugs. <laughs> a woman whose child can give birth to a deity. Yeah, she can be cocky, pretty much. A glophitus. So it's Aglophotis, not Aglophotis.
Ah. No, this is normal. Don't open that glove with this. Shoot. PlayStation 1 slow mo, ladies and gentlemen. That's what was in that motorcycle tank. That's what I've been chasing all along. The final boss is the red vial. Are we ready? No, nah, it's not. Smack in the forehead. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, the, the, the background noise or her laughter. There we go. So it's like, the, it's God himself, itself, was a parasite to her, just like Sybil had one, is that the thing? Are those all like little god fetuses? Silent Hill, you weird. Oh, let's try. I think he has a one hit kill. Pretty sure, yeah. That. That hit that he just did, yeah. So, gotta be careful of that. That's pretty fucking. Shoot him. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the balls. Woo! Just run, run around. Oh! Fuck, that's not a one-hit kill, but is there a way to dodge that? You know what, let's get an ampule. We saved them for just three in the whole game? I must have missed some. We saved them throughout the whole game, and it restores full health, plus keeps healing you over time, which is great for final boss. You gonna shoot? Oh! Double thunder, that's not good, boy. And now one of these. I can't even see him. Ow, 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 ow. That's a lot of thunder. Just fucking shoot him. Ow. Gee, I'm twisting here. Can you even evade it? Yep, you can jump for it. it does take a lot of health. I don't know. I can't remember how to evade him, so I'm just gonna shoot him in the face. He'll die soon. Well, that's more like testicular region. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Ow, 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 ow. Hurts, hurts. Woo! Good thing I had a lot of these. That's, that's like a five combo shot, dude. That's too much. You happy? That was like a four combo. Am I red again? One more ampule. Okay, I have two left. Can't see him. Oh, that didn't work. That so didn't work. There we go. So long, God. It was nice knowing you. Design. Oh. Yeah, I forget that her, her, their god is female. How did I forget that? And she's modeled after Baphomet? Baphomet? I don't know how you pronounce that in English. But hey, there we go. The very good at the good plus ending, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy.
He got a new baby. He's gonna name her the same because he's not imagined. But then he's gonna change her name. So she just gave birth to herself. That is always like, what the fuck just happened there? She just gave birth to herself. I know it's like reincarnation, but when you think about it, sleep. Like, Here's myself because I'm about to die. Take care of me, please. Come on, Sybil. I need you. Good thing he didn't shut you with that light. Here we go. He gets what he deserves. The scream was always kind of ridiculous after knowing his voice. I guess the other world is collapsing. It all froze. I think this song is called Tears Off. Goodbye, take care of me, Black. This is the canonical ending. Otherwise, there's no Sun Hill 3. There should be another thing after the. So, we're gonna have Dungo yet. We're gonna have the credits. Uh, and then we're gonna have. Like, kind of bloopers? They, I, I don't know if they do it with this ending or if it's just with the bad one. Uh, there should be a, like a blooper reel, whatever, because it seems silent. And right after that, I'll let the intro play again, because after this ending, it should be different. Uh, a scene should change. And right after that, I'm going to go to extra options, because just I found out the other day on the internet that when you go to extra options after you clear the game, there should be a first person mode. Now, this is something I want to see. So the next time we're doing... Uh, Silent Hill 1, if that's a thing really, at least in the European version, I'm gonna play Silent Hill with the first person mode. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I wanna see what that's gonna be like. Cause it, like the game has everything that's necessary for it. Hello Mr. Akira Yomoka, thanks for the great music and thank you Team Silent for a magnificent game. It was so ahead of its time. Woo! Yeah, I think there's gonna be that loop for real. Alrighty, folks, don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a minute. To five. Let's say five.
there we go, the blooper, the blooper reel, and the scene that was just there with Harry and Sybil finding a baby. It's gonna be part of the intro after this, because that's something Sand Hill Games do. The second game is genius also with that. Uh, so here the intro will change uh, with this cleared file with the good, pl good plus ending. So only if you get the good plus ending, from what I understand and remember. Uh, the intro will change, so where in the intro normally there was a... What the hell is wrong with this? There was a scene where uh, Harry and his wife find a baby. Now that's gonna be Harry and Sybil. And about the first person thing, zombie, yeah, I read that the other day on uh, Game FAQs. I was actually researching Silent Hill Monsters and somehow came across that. And I really want to try it, because there was even one guy, I thought people are trolling, then a lot of them said that it, it's in there. I'm wondering if it's like a PAL or NTSC uh, exclusive thing. Hey, Harry. <laughs> I love that they included like a blooper reel, what the hell. Uh, with one of the best songs, Sun Hill Other Side, what we just heard. There we go. So what... Short range shots. Shots, middle range shots. Yeah, every Sun Hill has a has a stat. Well, the first three, four, I'm gonna say they all have some kind of a stat screen, except for Shattered Memories. I'm pretty sure. One continue, so I die once at the boss. Huh. Uh, the first boss, very first one. Okay, I was oh, I was six items away from. Finding all of the items in the game? Fuck! And then we have... Okay... Shooting style. What about melee kills? Is there a second game? A second page? Yes, it's okay to save. Next game mode is hard. Yes, I know. We'll make a new save. Next fear. Okay. And now, let's see if that's true. I'm gonna start with intro? Yeah. But that scene should be different. I'm... Yep, there we go. So, whenever this memory card, this save is present, every time I boot the game, it'll be like this. Now, that's something I want to touch on uh, with Sand Hill games. That, okay, we don't have to. Everything else is the same, as far as I remember. Um, Sand Hill 2 will do the same thing. Uh, so, I dug up my old saves in preparation for Silent Hills 2, 3, 4, and onwards. And I had some saves, I have some saves, as old as... Um, is it here? That's it. That should be the first person mode, zombie. Self-view. Let's try it out, just to make sure it works. So, I had some saves of the the upcoming games. I still have, I found the, the one for this game, but I didn't find it in time for the first stream, so it doesn't matter now. Um, the second game is cleared at least once, because uh, this, I remember I played the American versions from my friend. Um, and then afterwards, I got the uh, PAL versions of these games. So, at least, I think, like, I had Sun Hill 2 PAL and Sun Hill 3 NTSC or something like that, so I couldn't, uh, load, I guess. We go next fear. And it should start right at the, uh, skip the intro and everything and start us right in the restaurant. Yep. We can skip that just to see that first person mode. Was skip I that too. So now do it actually. You have to apply it when you start the game. Oh look, everything's different color. Because it's a new fear. Option. Yeah, you have to adjust it in the game. Self view and now let's see what we what do we get. Not here, obviously. Oh that's it. Maybe that's what they meant. Hmm. I wonder. I mean, that's like aiming, but I wonder if it changes from like regular aiming. 
how I found out I remember how I found found out about this. So while researching monsters, I came across the uh, uh, Masahiro Ito's uh, Twitter account, or I think it's more correct if I say it in my accent, Masahiro Ito. And then, yeah, it's self you. Actually, I wanted to check if something changed. And he said that he was, even though he designed the levels, he was scared uh, playing first person in school. And I was like, yep. It doesn't work like this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it's gonna change after the this. Let's try it. Let's just try it out. I'm really curious because if this works, I'm gonna do my next Silent Hill one run like this. So I was like, what the hell is he talking about? First person mode mo mod? Is there like a first person fan mod? And I found out there's one, but I kept digging, and get found this. Yep, that's it. Found this. Uh, game FAQs article from like over 10 years ago and I was like holy shit a lot of people are mentioning this so you should be able to yeah I need a weapon first let's start with that let's get all the goodies just go through this first part yep the bastard's gonna fly behind me right now just wanna see if I adjusted the auto aim this time auto aiming zone blood color view control Retreat turn, retreat turn, reverse. I don't. I'm not gonna touch that. Okay. And you can just go to switch, I guess. Now this is yeah. There he is. This is starting on hard now. Like I said, every time you clear a game, it pushes to the next difficulty. Since we started on normal, we're gonna so sad I never used the knife. We're gonna continue on hard, right? So weird with that view. Skip that. Ooh, I didn't equip it. Skip. Huh. Oh, god damn it. What's going on with, with that radio? <laughs> oh my god. That gets me every time. Come on. Oh, uh, I want to shoot you without the gun, so please. Oh, already hit me. And this is hard, so I might die quickly. We'll just shoot it. And die. Kick it, kick it while it's down. Oh, yeah, you don't have to kick it for the first time. Okay, let's try it now. Outside. Is this it? So you can probably... It's not fully per first person, but yeah. Nah, bullet adjust. I'm just trying this out. But yeah, we can... We like. I don't know if I do it. I know I beat it on hard without that. Because I think it lowers score. But I don't know. I'll think about it. When we do the next run. So, so the thing is, so without it, here's what's different. This is the search view, right? Without the self view. That's what they meant. And it's like... You know, you like you'd expect. Most of the time, I use it to turn around camera and all like the first three Silent Hill games, because that's how they work. They basically have the same mechanics, right? So if 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 you're looking at the camera, you don't want that. You just hold L2, the controller. But with self view, I see it's not totally first person, but I want to. Try playing the game like that and see what happens. So what was it? View mode, self view. And then... Is there like... Reverse, I'm gonna say? Maybe? Weapon control should also be switched. Let's try it like that. So. Okay, yeah. So now holding the button... Puts the camera away and letting it go. And you can just, yeah. 
that not that one so like to play all the time like this that's what you have to set now we got to remember that for the next time zombie so weapon control stays normal view control reverse and then view mode self view and then let's see what sand hill looks like in this mode just gonna check it out very weird <laughs> and then you can press this to like kind of look away That's the camera from the end. So when I was approaching that elevator, getting down into nowhere, that's the camera that, that was being used. And you can see, I, people, people who use this said you can see a lot better. And they're true. Like, look at that. But it's so weird. His head is right there. <laughs> okay, I know we're going to play this in this mode, I'm sure. There's bullets. So let's try to bullet adjust right here, how it works. No, I want to see if I have any first. No, I don't. I have nothing. Then I take some. And I check how much I got. I got a 15, okay. Then I go to extra options. Two. Oh, okay. I think uh, this changes depending on how many times you clear the game. You get more and more. I remember being able to do times three. So let's see now. You can look up and down though, so that's weird. But you can like zoom out the camera if you need to see something close. This is a new way to play Sun Hill, I'm gonna say. And it's so weird that... I don't know, maybe that's the reason why a lot of people didn't find out about it. Also, a pl a, the guy who was talking about it a lot, saying, you know, like me, thinking someone's trolling him. Um, he said something like, uh, that he said it but it didn't work and then somebody mentioned ah yeah now you can clip into the buildings ah beautiful uh he mentioned that you can somebody told him actually sorry i got lost there somebody told him that you should be you should do it once you start the game because the options will not apply once you load the next fear save right so let's say I want to do, I want to go for Cheryl. I would have to go, what? Behind me to the right. Okay. So weird, but you can see things now. Fuck that. I'm also going to look for a bin, trash can, whatever. A newspaper stand, actually. Because there should be a, a reference I missed before. There's a reference to Silence of the Lambs. This is so weird! <laughs> Zombie, did you know about this? Because this is fucking amazing! It looks so weird, like... Why is his, his head at the bottom? I guess they didn't want to make it full first person. Which is sad, because it has like... The, the PS1 had analog controllers at this time. Ugh, that never looks as good as I want. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> me neither, buddy. I'm actually excited, I want to play it next time like this. And people who knew about it, they all said, like, you know, it's sad that Konami never used it again. Maybe because they never talked about it. Maybe it was an experimental feature that was left in the game somehow or something like that. And, I don't know, his head just at the bottom. But I gotta say, it's it kind of looks easier to dodge shit. Three dogs, shit. Fuck those dogs. Everything looks different, right? So this is, like, what the normal camera would be like here. And this is what we get. Completely different angle. Though you can't see b below you, so... Oh, he's not gonna comment on that. Why? Because it's a second game? That's weird. But yeah. I see why, yeah. That clipping is... Yeah, it's not a perfect feature, but it's a very... Oh my god, there's, an e there's enemies here on hard? Fuck you, doggy. Yeah, I didn't check how many bullets I got, actually. Yeah, you get 30. So, like, with this, you can't, even on hard, you can't lose with double bullets. Not to mention tri triple bullets. How am I supposed to see what's down there with this camera? So, I guess I would have to do this. 
<laughs> Isn't the Cheryl? I just want to see the school. I'll be there. Oh yeah, I don't. I can't. That's gonna take some time. But yeah, when we do the next Sand Hill One playthrough, this is gonna be a thing. I'm gonna try playing it like this, which maybe isn't smart doing on a hard mode, but who gives a shit? <laughs> With all the extra weapons, we should be good. Maybe I don't set it as a default, but just keep the third person. Or maybe when I need to find out where I am, I just hold this. Whoop. Whoop. I, I like how it slowly creeps away from him when you hold a button. But when you let go, it just like whoosh, smacks right there. That's weird. Other than that, this is... Oh yeah, we skipped the whole... Oh, of course there are enemies. This is not the... Uh, yeah, I forgot we actually skipped the intro. Fuck you, doggy. Fuck you, doggy. Woohoo! I can't see what's behind me. That kind of makes it scarier, but also... Gives me false hope that I'm better than, than, yeah, channeling stone as well. I don't know. Maybe, ooh, shit. Maybe the, the, the next thing we do would be all the UFO endings. That sounds like fun. Because I know, so I know for sure UFO endings from Silent Hill 2, 3, and Shutter Memories. And I don't think I've done any more in other games. This is amazing. I'm going to play it like this, definitely. Like, such a weird... I know, I, I see it's Silent Hill, I know it's Silent Hill, but it looks different, it's like a brand new game. And you can actually see things up close, this really helps. Forbidden to trespass. All persons are forbidden, yeah. Very advanced, like for 1999, knowing that the game was developed from like 1997 or something, just fucking mind blowing. Yeah, the channeling stone would be here. Let's check that out. Actually, I'm at the store. I didn't even check the map. I'm just navigating by, you know, by sheer by looking at things, trying to figure out where I am. Cause this this is that tunnel, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Let's see if we would find it. So much help. Oh my god, zombie. <laughs> I feel like a... I feel like a... Yeah, there we go. What was it in the first game? You have to use it in some... In specific place or places. I think you have to use it in two places or something like that. That was so cool. Like that nobody expected that from this game. So being psychotically scary as it was for 1999, I just can't get over the fl floppy head. <laughs> uh after everything, like so many endings and all that, you get a UFO ending just like for shits and giggles and becomes a fucking staple. I, they missed it in Sun Hill 4 and in Sun Hill I think in uh, Downpour it's different. It's not a UFO ending, it's just like a different ending. A joke ending or something like that, but yeah. Also, Silent Hill 2 has two joke endings. The version we're gonna play, um, Director's Cut or Restless Dreams, depending on where you are. Uh, it has, wow, okay, you can actually clip outside, beautiful. But it's still loading a lot, I can see. Woohoo! Uh, it has a bonus, like, what would not nowadays be a DLC? It was just... Uh, it was like an expansion, let's say. And... Oh, bro, bro. oh, he missed me somehow, even though I stopped there to look at my phone. Um, the second joke ending, I think I got it once, because it's such a silly, dumb ending. I don't know, the dog ending, people who played Silent Hill 2 will know. Oh, I missed that. It's hard to pick up items with this camera, but still, there we go. Nice. Oh, but I can't tell how, oh yeah, that. 
I, I'll never be able to dodge them as easily with this camera, definitely. That co dog really doesn't give up, does he? Run! The bobbing is just perfect. And you can, like I said, it's so, everything's so close. I can see, yeah, the same car everywhere. I don't mind that. <laughs> but still, it's, wow. Um, I, I was getting into this. Didn't want to try my old save, just so I wanted to do it on stream and find out. But I, I was 50-50 whether it's actually going to be a feature. First person camera. It's not really, like I said, first person, but still. Works as you'd expect. Now, the controls might be even easier now for people who don't like uh, tank controls. Yeah, there was, but I'm not playing this for real. I was just showing this camera. Because um, now, actually, up will always be forward, left and right. I mean, like it is with this one, though a lot of people, when I see criticism for Silent Hill and Resident Evil being the controls, I mean, what... I get it, different people. I, I can't play without the inverted stick. It's just so weird for me. It's When I press up and, it, and I look up, it's ah, which is a great issue with Silent Hill Homecoming, which doesn't have invert, inverted controls for some reason. Xbox 360, PS3, fuck's sake, you could have updated, but okay. Uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm veering off track here. But yeah, the, these controls, where wherever you turn, uh, when you press up, it goes up. It just makes sense. And then you slightly adjust it with left and right. So just think from the point of your character. But yeah, a lot of criticism falls to that. So with this camera, those people would maybe even enjoy this game. You can even see shit. And like I said before, with component cables, even though it's a 240p game, slash 480i, depending on where you are. How did you do that, you dick? That the hard's not that hard. Uh, but yeah. I think I've said all I had to say. Tomorrow, we're doing, uh, Gears of War with Scarlet. We're continuing. We might even finish the game tomorrow. It's beat the ha half the game last session. And, uh, it's a good contrast to these like exploratory runs with survival horror games. And Thursday we're back to, uh, we're back to we're beginning we're starting Sound Hill Two, again Wrestler's Dreams or, uh, what's it called, Director's Cut, um, and that's gonna be something special because, I, I can't wait honestly I love that game so much I beat it like I've already said this but Resident Evil Two and Sound Hill Two I don't know which one. I flipped around more. What I was going to say earlier, uh, Silent Hill 2, unfortunately, is going to... Unfortunately? So, there's a slight change in Silent Hill 2 that occurs with the intro after you've beaten the game once. And that's the, the, the intro, the like demo movie, whatever. First time when you boot the game and wait, wait on the start screen for that, it plays it, but everything characters say is muted. You can just hear the music, theme of Laura, and watch the intro and get some insight. But once you clear the game at least once, the you can hear all the voices from all the cutscenes. And that's brilliant, because uh, that was a way to, I guess, not spoil the game, because they say a lot of important things, what could get you into the you know game uh, plot. And you get to hear them after you've already seen, seen you know, the played the entirety of the game. And I think on PC there wasn't the case. Uh, or was it? I'm, I don't know. Blurry memory it was a long time ago. But yeah, just to throw it out there. So tomorrow, Gears of War. Thursday, uh, Sand Hill 2. Friday, we're back to Outbreak. We're going to do Scenario Mode, Broken East Town. But let's hope it'll, it works. If it doesn't, we'll just do regular scenarios. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Thank Zombie for sticking around as always. Highly appreciated. Everybody have a wonderful morning, evening, whatever whatever you have. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.